Fergie, one petrol barrel in, one with a diesel, that had a perfect diesel engine. The only trouble was the Perkins. Here comes Mr. Noisy. The uh, Perkins engine was a much taller engine. So we had to raise the bonnet up on the tractor. The only problem is that we were working in the winter and you've got gloves on. If you turn the steering wheel, it's very easy to get your hands stuck between the steering wheel and the top of the bonnet. Very nicely restored the Dexter in front of us. We had a massive Ferguson 35, and there was also a 35X owner down to the lift. And he bought it as a kit. And when he came to fit it, we had all the bolts, nuts and bolts supplied there. And because we didn't have to drill any holes, they were already there for you. We just bolted the battery tray on, the headlamps, the holes were already in the, uh, the framework, the arm was on the other side of the radiator, we were to push the headlamps into. So the Ford really thought ahead. Uh, whatever tractor we wanted as long as Fordson built it. Uh, apparently their first tractor was a Fordson F. And my granddad used to like that, although it, it nearly came to a sticky end, because they'd only had horses before, and him and his mate took it to bits to see how it worked. And when they put it back together, it didn't work. <laughs> and he, he used to say...
So what I wanted to say is the next bike to carry is a lovely...
around the arena when they come back around this side I'll have a little chat with the, the owners so they know more about the vehicles uh, than I do and very very nice they're different vehicles uh, to what we had yesterday uh, <coughs> Rover Open Cora very very nice looking car I've never thought about that Okay, uh, this is a new 4 in 1970. Uh, a few more after war, it's quite late to vary. Uh, it's not very common, this is probably number 34 of 860. Uh, and uh, it's been in the family for 60 years now, so it's my long time old. Did you have one that's been in the family all that time? That was a nice bit of as well. That's a nice now, Austin Saloon, White Austin Saloon. Lovely, thank you very much. They're very, very nice to flag, uh, flag posts on the front wings. MG, MG was the sporting uh, section of the Morris Car Company, Morris Garage. Built up at Abingdon in Berkshire. Tell us all about this one. 1974, MGC Roadster in Stamford Bridge. Brilliant. You're enjoying it, aren't you? Yeah, it's a little Yorkie back here. 1964, judging by the uh, number plate on the front. You can see why we've got the nickname. Yeah. Uh, 